Hello everyone, this is Yaka Bina here. In this video, we are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation with variable questions. So, we are going to solve a second order linear differential equation problem using reduction of order method. So, let's get going. Problem solve x square d square pi by dx square minus of x square plus 2x into dy by dx plus x plus 2 into y equal to x cube e power x. So, we are given a differential equation with variable equations and also is of order 2, right? Given differential equation. x square into d square y by dx square minus of x square plus 2x into dy by dx plus x plus 2 into y equal to x cube e power x. Now let's write the given differential equation in standard form of second order equation. d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y equal to r. So we need to make the quotient of d square y by dx square to unity. Okay, for that purpose, we'll multiply both sides of the equation with x square. Sorry, with 1 by x square or we'll divide both sides of the equation with x square. So, let's divide the whole equation or both sides of the equation with this x square. Then we'll get d square y by dx square minus of x square plus 2x by x square into dy by dx plus x plus 2 by x square into y equal to x cube e power x by x square. This equation becomes d square y by dx square minus of See here we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we can split the total fraction into two fractions. x square by x square plus 2x by x square into dy by dx plus here also we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator. So we will split this into two terms. x by x square plus 2 by x square into y equal to x cube e power x by x square okay here x square gets cancelled one get one x gets cancelled here one x gets cancelled then we'll get d square y by dx square minus of one plus two by x into dy by dx plus one by x plus two by x square into y equal to x square gets cancelled from RHS we'll get x into e power x right so we have reduced the given differential equation to standard form of second order linear differential equation now we can just compare this equation with second order linear equation say d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y equal to r. Okay. If you compare this equation with the standard form, we'll get p, q and r. Consider this equation as equation number 1. Compare equation 1 with standard form. d square y by dx square plus p into dy by dx plus q into y equal to r. We have p equal to minus of 1 plus 2 by x and q equal to 1 by x plus 2 by x square and r equal to x e power x. Now, we need to find suitable complementary function that is suitable part of complementary function of solution of 1 using inspection method. So firstly I'll notice p and q. We are having p equal to minus 1 minus 2 by x right and q equal to 1 by x plus 2 by x square. 
So I'm going to try for P plus QX is equals to P minus of 1 plus 2 pi X plus Q is 1 by X plus 2 by X square into X gives minus 1 minus 2 by X plus 1 by X into X is X by X plus 2 by X square into X is 2X by X square. Right? We will get minus 1 minus 2 by X plus X gets cancelled and we will get 1 plus 1X one gets cancelled from the last term. We will get plus 2 by X. So here minus 2 by X plus 2 by X gets cancelled. Minus 1 plus 1 gets cancelled and you will get 0. Right? Therefore, P plus QX equal to 0. We know that if P plus QX equal to 0, then Y equal to X is a part of C of, that is complementary function of solution of 1. Okay? So, we got, since we got P plus QX equals to 0, so from this, we'll get, therefore, Y equal to X is the part of C of of solution of 1. Okay? So, we are having Y equal to X, right? This X is our u okay which is a function of x so where u equal to x in this problem our u is this x okay therefore u equal to x we got u equal to x let's find derivative of u with respect to x just differentiate on both sides with respect to x, say d by dx of u equal to d by derivative of x with respect to x otherwise. Then we'll get du by dx equal to derivative of x with respect to x is 1. If u equal to x, then du by dx equals to 1. Let y equal to u v be the general solution of 1. See already we are having u which is x from this we got y equal to x where x is u right. So we are having u equal to x but we need to find v right then v is given by d square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u. Consider this formula as equation 2. Now, just substitute p, u, du by dx, r and u. Okay? So, from this equation, we'll get V and from V, we'll find small v. Okay. Then, the above equation becomes d square v by dx square plus p. We are having p is minus of 1 plus 2 by x plus 2 by u is x and du by dx is 1 into dv by dx equal to r x e power x by u x so here this x gets cancelled and we'll get d square v by dx square plus minus 1 plus in minus into plus minus 2 by x plus 2 by x into 1 is 2 by x into dv by dx equal to e power x so here minus 2 by x plus 2 by x gets cancelled now let 
dv by dx that is d small v by dx equals to capital V then d square small v by dx square will be d capital V by dx okay then this equation becomes we can write d square v by dx square as d capital V by dx plus minus 1 into replace d small v by dx with capital V into capital V equal to e bar x. This equation becomes dv by dx plus into minus minus v equal to e power x which is a linear equation considered as equation number 3. In capital V and x. Now just compare this equation with standard form of linear equation with v and x dv by dx plus p1 v equal to q1 okay so we'll find v using the general solution formula of this equation okay so here we need to find integral p1 dx and then we'll find integrating factor which is given by e power integral p1 dx and then we'll go for the general solution of this equation. Capital V into integrating factor equal to integral Q1 into integrating factor into dx plus some constant C1. Okay. Now, compare this equation with the standard form. We have P1 equal to minus 1 and Q1 equal to e power x. Let's now find integral p1 dx which is equals to integral minus 1 into dx which is equals to minus integral dx which is equals to minus x. Right? Now let's find integrating factor which is given by e power integral p1 dx which is equals to e power minus x. So our integrating factor is e power minus x. Now we are going to use this formula. Okay? Now, let's use this formula V into capital V into integrating factor equal to integral Q1 into integrating factor into dx plus C1. Then, V into integrating factor is e power minus x equal to integral Q1 e power x into integrating factor e power minus x into dx plus C1. This equals to integral e power x. We can write e power minus x as 1 by e power x into dx plus c1, e for x gets cancelled and we'll get integral dx plus c1 which is equals to x plus c1. So we got v into e power minus x equal to x plus c1, right? And here we can write this e power minus x as v into 1 by e power x equal to x plus c1. Now take this e power x to RHS, we'll get capital V equal to x plus c1 into e power x. We are having capital V equal to x plus c1 into e power x. We can write this as capital V equal to x into e power x plus c1 e power x. Since we know that capital V equal to dv by dx, right? So let's replace this capital V with d small v by dx and RHS remains the same. Now, take this dx to RHS, we'll get dv equal to x e power x plus c1 e power x into dx. Then dv equal to x e power x into dx plus c1 e power x dx. So here the variables are separable. Now we can perform integration. Integral dv equal to integral x e power x dx plus c1 integral e power x dx. If you know the formula of x e power x dx, you can write it directly or you can just find 
इंटीग्रल एक्स ई पॉर एक्स डी एक्स ओके यूजिंग इंटीग्रल बायपास फॉर्मूला इंटीग्रल यू डी वी इक्वल टू यू वी माइनस इंटीग्रल वी डी ओके यू आर हैविंग एक्स ई पॉर एक्स इनटू डी एक्स राइट सो विल टेक द पॉलिनोमियल एस यू एंड द रिमेनिंग एस डी वी ओके दिस इज एन एक्सपोनेंशियल फंक्शन सो विल टेक द रिमेनिंग एस डी वी एंड टेक यू इक्वल्स टू एक्स एंड डी वी इक्वल टू ई पॉर एक्स डी एक्स फाइंड डेरिवेटिव ऑफ यू विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स विल गेट डी यू बाय डी एक्स इक्वल टू और डिफरेंशिएट ऑन बोथ साइड्स विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स ओके डी बाय डी एक्स ऑफ एक्स फ्रॉम दिस विल गेट डी यू बाय डी एक्स इक्वल टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ एक्स विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू एक्स इज वन फ्रॉम दिस विल गेट डी यू इक्वल टू डी एक्स नाउ इंटीग्रेट ऑन बोथ साइड्स टू फाइंड वी We'll get v equal to e power x. Now apply in this formula. Integral u into dv is e power x dx equal to u v x into v e power x minus integral v e power x into du. Du is dx, which is equal to x e power x. Minus e power x. Therefore, integral x e power x dx equal to x e power x minus e power x. Okay. Now coming to this problem, this becomes integral v equal to integral x e power x dx is integral dv is v. Okay. So that I wrote v here. Which is equals to integral x e power x dx. Integral x e power x dx is x e power x minus e power x plus c one into integral e power x dx is e power x plus integral constant c two. Or we can write it as just take e power x common from the first two terms. We'll get x minus one into e power x plus c one e power x plus c two. So we got small v. Therefore, v equal to x minus one into e power x plus c one e power x plus c two. Right now we have u equal to x and v equal to x minus one into e power x plus c one e power x plus c two. So we can write the general solution. We know that the general solution is given by y equal to u v. Therefore. The general solution is given by y equal to u v. Then y equal to u v. We are having x, and this x minus one into e power x plus c one e power x plus c two, which is equal to x times x minus one into e power x plus c one x e power x plus c two x. Okay, or We can write it as. Firstly, I'll write the terms involving constants, arbitrary constants. C one e power x plus c two e x plus x into x minus one into e power x, which is the required solution. Therefore, y equal to c one x e power x. Plus c two x plus x times x minus one into e power x is the required solution. So we have seen a problem from reduction of order in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.